Hello again. While some people concern themselves with folk like Georg Soros and Barbara Lerner Spector, the real architects of multicultural Europe are sometimes overlooked. Four years ago, a man died who became affectionately known among Quislings and fifth columnists intent on destroying European culture and the European way of life as the father of globalisation. Peter Sutherland, who may be seen in the thumbnail to this video, campaigned tirelessly, both in his own country, Ireland, and also in Britain and Europe, for open borders, and he was forever urging European countries to surrender themselves to immigration and not restrict it just to skilled immigrants either. He earnestly believed that any impoverished person from Africa or Asia should be free to come to Europe and settle wherever he pleased, especially in Britain and Ireland. As he put it, no state is or can be an island. A little more research on this idea as it touches upon Britain and Ireland might not have come amiss, of course, before making such a sweeping claim. Sutherland certainly ticked all the boxes, if you like, conspiracy theories. At various times, he was on the steering committee of the Bilderberg Group. The United Nations loved him and he was their special representative on immigration. Not only that, he was also mixed up with the Vatican, serving as consultant of the extraordinary section of the administration of the patrimony of the Apostolic See. European Commissioner, Attorney General in Ireland, and also worked for the World Trade Organization. In the description to this video, I give a link to his obituary from the International Organization for Migration. Here are a few quotes for you all to relish. Europe faces an immigration predicament. Mainstream politicians held hostage by xenophobic parties adopt anti-immigrant rhetoric to win over a fearful public, while the foreign-born are increasingly marginalised in schools, cities and the workplace. Yet, despite iron employment across much of the continent, too many employers lack the workers they need. Engineers, doctors and nurses are in short supply. So too are farmhands and health aides, and Europe can never have enough entrepreneurs whose ideas drive economies and create jobs. We have, of course, seen 40,000 of these engineers, doctors and nurses cross the channel illegally this year. No doubt there are also many of those entrepreneurs whom we can never have enough of. The Albanians who come to this country are renowned for their enthusiasm for small businesses, which engage in indoor farming and also find work for attractive young girls in our larger cities. Here's another quotation by Sutherland when he was working for the United Nations as their immigration guy. He said that, the EU should do its best to undermine the homogeneity of its member states. Well, that's plain enough. I give a link to this speech in the description to this video. Rather than fretting about various Jews whom some people are inclined to blame for everything from immigration to bad weather, I think it might be helpful if folk were to look at the real decision makers and influencers who are still at work in Europe. 